odds are we don't really have rules for innovation yet. I mean, it's still, it's a 15 year old field and gamification is about to be the next big thing. But the innovation process, as anybody in a company knows, I mean, it takes three years, just like research takes three years or more. I mean, if you're making something like aeroplanes, the only thing that works really, really fast is probably IT and throwaway products. But other stuff still have long product and development cycles miniaturize them and go through the process more quickly many many times over is very important for that do it quickly do it often um, do it without expectation of reward just do it you know um, and uh, and the results that we've got as I said are nothing short of amazing I mean in a lot of the workshops I've run people have come to me as a last resort. Originally this is what happened, which is a little distressing for me, but they've, they've had three years of work on their project, the deadline is less than a month away, and they're like, mm, well, we've got some answers, but you know, maybe we could have more, let's see what this can do. And without fail, this process brings people answers that they haven't found in three years of ordinary research and ordinary brainstorming or mind mapping. So knowing that those are the tools that are normally used in creativity, innovation and problem solving um, or anything else that's out there, um, there's 110 to 250 tools depending on how you classify them. None of those tools go through the process. None of those tools, because they don't go through the process, have the possibility of gamifying or miniaturizing what needs to be done. So that's my argument. To, to miniaturize and gamify problem solving and innovation is the reason why it can happen that fast and with that amount of success. definition of innovation, that inner and novara, which is the Latin root of inno innovation, inner means within itself, and novara means new. Make something new within itself. Now, this is not a question of renovation, not to restore something old to a new, you know, to a, as new. It's not recreation, you know, it's, it's not any of the other Asians that we can think of. When you really investigate how it's even possible to make something new within itself is actually to put something old in a new place, or vice versa, to put something new in an old space, meaning you take something into a different context. What we're talking about is recontextualizing or reframing, and this is where all the breakthroughs have ever been made. If you're putting something old in a new place, what you need to do is you need to stick to the rules. So if I incorporate the rules for biology and engineering design, which is what we did in the game, in the prison game, then I need to stick to the rules of engineering if I'm going to use it there, but I need to be able to modify or use the rules of biology in a way that's appropriate, or vice versa. If I want to make a biological advance, you know, a breakthrough on understanding how frog legs work or something, you know, and I, and I know something about engineering. An engineer can do biology, for instance, by applying the knowledge in a new space. Lots of ways that we can use this cross-disciplinary, multidisciplinary work like this. It, it's always about old things in a new place. What this also means is keeping the rules remembering I said this was one of the three primary things that we have to think about. The rules always have to exist and we have to keep them. Um, but at the same time, the community of users are not that interested in the rules. What they care about is life being simple and fun. What that often means is breaking the rules. So these sound like a contradiction, but it's the most perfect thing because that's what makes it fun. That's what makes it gamified. That's what makes it innovation keeping the rules and breaking them at the same time in the appropriate measure. High tech, high touch, high empathy. So that's, that's what I'm trying to do. So I had a really basic game to start with, a little bit boring, but what it did was it gamified a really intensive five week long process into less than two hours. Something that, that would take normally five weeks to learn and a couple of years to master. And the reason for this is that it's collaborative so, so again, I'm following the same rules, giving people rules, making it a collaboration and enabling transformation all at the same time. And the transformation, amazingly for me as well, that this was the first thing that engineers said when they used it was not, oh my God, what fabulous results we've got, was, oh my God, we could actually talk to each other. <laughs> Which 
I didn't expect it. I'm sure that they didn't expect either. But um, but yeah, this is this is more or less what is happening uh, as as the stuff that I'm developing is being used and people are taking it up and and using it with each other, even without me, thankfully. And by incorporating more and more games, which already exist, so things like snap and charades, incorporating just these really, really simple ways of using new material in an old way is, um, is gamifying it and is applying it for innovation. It's sneaky innovation. That's what I call it. Gamifying is sneaky innovation. It's a table-sized map with seven steps on it. There's a few, little bit more to do in the seven steps, but essentially that's it. It covers everything that you need to do in innovation and without fail, it gets results that people don't normally get in three years of work. Expanding this from being a simple tabletop game into being an alternate reality, meaning that it shouldn't just be played in one place, it can be played in a lot of different places with almost anything except you can't do mathematical equations, you really can't do maths with it. Unless you turn the maths into a model or an object. But because you can do it anywhere and with anything, what it means is you can do it with daily life. It's a combination of logic and analogic, of, of reason and inspiration. But anyway, to, to deal with that level, or, or to, to be able to interact with the world at that level, instead of having a separation between work and play, the whole idea of gamification is, is what that is about, of, of making more fun, of even being more productive and there not being a difference, whether it's about branding and marketing or whether it's about um, problem solving and high tech product development, um, that is what it should be about and that's why, I mean I've gone back now to my original, uh, you know, the original thing that I made Prism for which was for 13 year olds and hopefully in the next couple of months we'll be doing a pilot test with one of the big youth organizations on expanding this thing which is a tabletop game you do in 90 minutes into something that's got 768 combinations of challenges and quests right now at the first level of play and there's a couple of different levels to do it in and also adding a lot of um, beautiful technology which is very new to me and which I'll never understand but hopefully if I know the right people to do it with we can make something kind of exciting from it.